हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय से सिद्धार्थ चौहान वेलकम टू इजी मेडिकैम टुडे इज पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट द वाइट मैटर इन द प्रीवियस सेक्शन ऑफ द वीडियोस वी हैड कवर्ड अबाउट द ग्रे मैटर इफ दिस इज द डायग्राम व्हिच आई हैव ऑलरेडी ड्रॉन हियर इज अ ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इफ दिस इज द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड द ट्रांसफर सेक्शन ऑफ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू पार्ट्स दिस इज द वाइट मैटर एंड दीज आर द ग्रे मैटर्स these gray matters we had already covered in the previous section of the videos so today's part of the video will be covering about the white matter the white matter of the spinal cord is divided into three types which are the anterior white column lateral white column and the posterior white column so the three types of columns are present in the white matter which are the anterior lateral and posterior white column the white matter of spinal cord is due to the myelinated fibers wherever the myelinated fibers are present it gives the appearance of the white there so the white matter is nothing but it is due to the myelinated fibers where the white matter of the spinal cord consists of the nerve fibers it consists of the neuroglia and it consists of the blood vessels so the white matter of the spinal cord consists of the nerve fibers it consists of the neuroglia cells and it consists of the blood vessels and it the white matter or the appearance of the white is due to the myelinated fibers wherever the myelinated fibers are present or uh, we we can also think that wherever the myelination is present it gives the appearance of the white matter okay the white matter or that consists of three types of tract the white matter of the spinal cord consists of three types of tracts which are the ascending tract it consists of the descending tract and it consists of the intersegmental tracts so three types of tracts are present in the white matter of the spinal cord ascending descending and the intersegmental tracts so the today's part of the video will be covering about only about the ascending tract we will be continuing the descending tract in the next section of the videos so the ascending tract these are the fibers that ascends at the level of from the level of spinal cord and ends at the level of higher center the higher centers are the cortical centers so it will start from the level of spinal cord and it will end at the level of the cortical centers or the higher centers that's why these are called ascending tract isn't it and these ascending tract conduct the afferent information which may or may not reach the consciousness consciousness so it will conduct the afferent information isn't it and it will conduct the information for the extraceptive and it will conduct the information for the proprioceptive also if it will conduct the information for the actors extraceptive means it will conduct the information of pain it will conduct the information of touch and it will conduct the information of temperature okay and the proprioceptive means it will conduct the information of the muscle tone and it will conduct the information all the things about the joint isn't it so the in the whole the ascending tract pathway that reaches the consciousness consists of three types of neurons what we have to remember is that it the ascending pathway is due to the form it will form it is formed due to the combination of three types of neurons which are the first second and third order neuron so the ascending pathway is formed due to the combination of three types of neurons which are the first order neuron second order neuron and the third order neuron and the ascending tract consists of so many columns which are the or the tracts ascending tract consists of there are so many types of ascending tracts in the spinal cord these are the uh, present in the posterior white column which are the fasciculus cuneatus and the fasciculus gracilis this is more important we will be continuing the uh, information on this posterior white column in the next section of the video the uh, another type of the ascending tract is the spinothalamic tract so in the whole we are having two types of spinothalamic tract what we have to remember that the spinothalamic tracts are of two types anterior spinothalamic tract and the lateral spinothalamic tract there are two types of spinocerebral tract which are the anterior and the posterior spinocerebral tract and the spinoreticular tract and the spino olivary tract so these are the types of ascending tracts so the posterior white column consists of the fasciculus cuneatus fasciculus gracilis the spinothalamic tracts are the of two types anterior spinothalamic tract lateral spinothalamic tract spinocerebral tract which are anterior and posterior spinoreticular tract and the spino olivary tract so if this is the ascending tract we'll be continuing about the ascending tract in the next section of the video and the descending tract in the next section of the video so do like share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more notification and please guys do comments also thank you
प्लीज़ लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब इजी मेडिकेमेंट प्रेस बेल आइकन फॉर मोर नोटिफिकेशन